in power system analysis today we are going to solve a problem to find out the bus impedance matrix using bus building algorithm solved problem 1 determine z bus for a system whose reactance diagram is shown all the impedances are given in per unit to serve all the nodes so this diagram is given in the problem solution from the diagram it is clear that the number of buses is equal to 3 so no need to consider the reference bus except reference bus the remaining number of buses equal to 3. Therefore, the dimension of the final Z bus matrix which we are going to obtain will be of 3 cross 3 matrix. So, for a 3 bus system, the final value of Z bus matrix will be of 3 cross 3 matrix which consists of these 9 parameters. Now, we are going to see the steps to be followed to solve this problem. So, we are going to consider all the reactances in the diagram given. So, here we are having um, J1.2, J.2, J.15, J1.5 and J.3. So, there are uh, 5 reactances. So, we are going to start the problem from reference bus. Then we are going to first bus, then second bus, third bus and so on. So, we will see the steps now. Step 1, from the reference bus to bus 1. So, bus 1 is a new bus. First time we are considering this bus. So, we call that as new bus. And we are considering the reactance J1.2. So, the matrix is of order 1 cross 1 matrix. And step 2 from bus 1 to bus 2. Bus 1 now it becomes existing bus. So, already we considered this bus in step 1. So, now in step 2 this bus 1 becomes existing bus. And bus 2 is a new bus. And now we are adding one more reactance J.2. So, the matrix is of order 2 cross 2 matrix. And step 3 from bus 2 to bus 3. Now, this bus 2 become existing bus and bus 3 is a new bus. And we are considering J.15 reactants and the matrix is of order 3 cross 3 matrix. And step 4 from bus 3 to reference. Now, the bus 3 become existing bus and we are considering this reactant J1.5. So, the Z bus matrix is of 4 cross 4 matrix. So, previously I mentioned for this problem there are only 3 buses. So, the final answer must be of 3 cross 3 matrix. But now in step 4 itself we got 4 cross 4 matrix. So, what we need to do? We need to reduce this 4 cross 4 matrix to 3 cross 3 matrix by applying a node elimination technique. So, using this node elimination technique the 4 cross 4 matrix can be reduced to 3 cross 3 matrix. Now, in the diagram, we consider this uh, four reactances. One more reactance is left. So, this J.3 is connected between bus 1 and bus 3. In step 5, we are going to consider that. So, from bus 1 to bus 3. Now, these two buses are existing bus. Existing bus 1 to existing bus 3. So, now again, the matrix become 4 cross 4 matrix. So, to obtain the final answer, what we need to do, again we are going to apply node elimination technique to bring the final answer in 3 cross 3 matrix. So, we need to start the problem from reference bus, then from 1 to 2, then bus 2 to 3, then 3 to 0, complete this loop and finally, we are going to consider this J.3 which is connected between bus 1 and bus 3. So, these are the steps to be followed to solve this problem. Step 1 from the reference bus to bus 1. So, this is a diagram for step 1. The reactance is J1.2. So, Z bus will be equal to Z11 alone and the value will be J1.2. So, it is a 1 cross 1 matrix. And step 2 from existing bus 1 to new bus 2. So, considering this J.2 reactance. So, Z bus is of order 2 cross 2 matrix. It consists of 4 terms Z11, 12, 21 and 22. In this matrix, Z11 can be substituted directly from step 1 which is J1.2 and Z12 and 21 are simply by copying this Z1 and paste it here, it becomes J1.2. Similarly, here it becomes J1.2. The only one term left that is Z22. Z22 is equal to J1.2 plus J.2. So, this J1.2 we can take either from Z12 or Z21 plus J.2 is the reactance which we considered in this step. 
So adding this two, you will be getting J 1.4. So that is Z22. So Z bus matrix will be J 1.2 and here J 1.2, J 1.2 and J 1.4. So this is the Z bus matrix at step 2. Step 3, from existing bus 2 to new bus 3, considering this J 0.15 reactance. So Z bus is of 3 cross 3 matrix. It consists of 9 parameters. So, out of this 9 parameters, this 4 parameters that is Z11, 12, 21 and 22 already we obtained in step 2. Directly we can substitute those 4 parameters. The remaining parameters Z13 can be obtained by simply copying this Z12. Similarly, this Z22 is copied to Z23. Similarly, here this value is copied here. And this value you can copy here. So the matrix is filled except the last term Z33. Z33 is equal to J1.4. So this J1.4 we can take from either Z23 or Z32 plus J.15. This J.15 is the reactance which we consider in this step. So adding this to you will be getting J1.55 that is Z33. So the Z bus matrix at step 3 will be a 3 cross 3 matrix with these values. So this procedure can be followed only in the following cases. So first one is from reference bus to new bus, from existing bus to new bus or from existing bus to reference bus. So in these cases only we can apply this procedure simply by copy pasting and the last value of the matrix can be obtained like this. Now step 4 from existing bus to reference bus. So, in this case also you can apply the same procedure from existing bus 3 to the reference bus. We are considering this J1.5 reactance. So, now the Z bus is of 4 cross 4 matrix. In this 4 cross 4 matrix there are 16 terms. Out of this 16 terms, this 9 terms can be directly taken from step 3 and we can substitute here and now Simply copy paste procedure here also. So J1.2 copy paste here, J1.4, J1.5 and here J1.2, J1.4 and J1.55. So the last term is left. So this last term is calculated by simply adding the previous answer that is J1.55 either from Z34 or Z43 and plus J1.5. So this reactance is the new reactants which we considered in this step. So adding this to you will be getting J3.05 as Z44. Substituting you will be getting the Z bus matrix at step 4 as a 4 cross 4 matrix. So by seeing this matrix we observe that it is a 4 cross 4 matrix but in this problem there are only 3 buses. So the final answer must be of 3 cross 3 matrix. So what we need to do? We need to reduce this 4 cross 4 matrix to 3 cross 3 matrix by applying node elimination technique. So now we are going to apply the node elimination technique. So now we are going to eliminate 4th row and 4th column. So if we eliminate this, what are all the changes occur in other 9 terms? We are going to calculate using the formula. The element Zjk of the new impedance matrix is given by Zjk nu is equal to Zjk minus Zj n plus 1, Zn plus 1k divided by Zn plus 1, n plus 1. So, this formula we need to remember where this n is equal to number of bus 3 and j varies from 1, 2 and 3, k also varies from 1, 2 and 3. So, what we are going to do? We are going to convert 4 cross 4 matrix to 3 cross 3 matrix. So, our answer will be of 3 cross 3 matrix like this. So, we need to obtain this 9 terms. So, first we consider Z11. So, Z11, Z11 means in the formula J is equal to 1, K equal to 1. Substitute J equal to 1 and K equal to 1 in the formula. You will be getting Z11 minus Z14, Z41 divided by Z44. So, from the previous answer, substitute all the terms. Z11 is J1.2, Z14 is J1.2, Z41 is J1.2 and divided by Z44 is J3.05. 
so you will be getting z11 nu is equal to j.728 this is z11 similarly z12 z12 means j is 1 k is 2 so substituting that in this formula you will be getting this term substituting the values from the matrix j1.2 one four is j one point two four two four two is j one point four divided by j three point zero five. So you'll be getting z one two is equal to j point six four nine, and that will be also equal to z two one. So z one two is equal to z two one, as we know from the matrix rule. And the next term z one three j is one k is three. Substitute in this formula, you'll be getting this. Substituting the values from the matrix. You will be getting z13 equal to j.590 that will be equal to z31. Similarly, z22 j equal to 2 k equal to 2. Substituting the values from the matrix, you will get j.757 and z23 j equal to 2 k equal to 3. So, you will be getting this term. Substituting the values from the matrix, you will be getting j.689 and that will be equal to z32 final value is at 3 3 equal to so j equal to 3 k equal to 3 so substituting the value from the matrix you will be getting j 0.762 so all the nine parameters are calculated so substituting in the matrix format so you will be getting z bus equal to these values so now considering this diagram in the first step we consider this reactants j 1.2 in the second step we consider this reactants and in third step we consider this reactance we got 3 cross 3 matrix the fourth step we consider this reactance we got 4 cross 4 matrix and by applying node elimination technique we reduce that 4 cross 4 matrix into 3 cross 3 matrix that is this matrix and one more reactance is left in this problem that is j.3 and this j.3 is connected between bus 1 and bus 3 and bus 1 is already considered so it become existing bus and bus 3 also the existing bus so we cannot apply the previous procedure in this step since the both the buses are existing bus so for this we have a separate procedure so that we are going to discuss in step 5 so in step 5 from existing bus 1 to existing bus 3 so we are considering one more reactant so this 3 cross 3 matrix become 4 cross 4 matrix so one more row and one more column will be added so how to get that uh, fourth row and fourth column that we are going to see here in in this case for obtaining new bus impedance matrix the elements of fourth column are obtained by subtracting the elements of third column from the first column and the elements of fourth row are obtained by subtracting the elements of third row from the first row that means 1 minus 3 the first row minus third row or first column minus third column that we are going to do to obtain the fourth column and fourth row so if you are doing that you will be getting the remaining six terms and the final z44 term can be calculated using this formula so i will explain this formula in the next slide so this is a 4 cross 4 matrix uh, format so what we are going to do row 1 minus row 3 is equal to row 4 column 1 minus column 3 is equal to column 4 so we are uh, considering row 1 and 3 because the reactance which we considered is connected between bus 1 and bus 3 if it is connected between bus 1 and bus 2 means row 1 minus row 2 we need to substitute here is a 3 cross 3 matrix here this is a 3 cross 3 matrix which we obtain in the step 4. Now the fourth column is obtained by subtracting the first column from third column. So first column is 0.728 minus this 0 0.590 that is your fourth column similarly for this thing. And this fourth row can be obtained by subtracting 0.728 minus this 0 0.590 similarly this one. So, this fourth column and fourth row can be obtained by subtracting this uh, 1 minus 3 and this final value this term that is z44 can be obtained using that formula which we which I shown in the previous slide that formula is z44 equal to zb plus z11 
plus z33 plus 2 into z13. So, this formula can be derived by considering the buses between which the reactance is connected. So, this j.3 is connected between bus 1 and 3. So, we need to substitute z11 and z33 and minus 2 into z13. And this zb is the reactance which is connected between this bus 1 and 3 that is j.3. So, substituting that value j.3 plus z11 from the matrix z33 from the matrix minus 2 into z13 also from the matrix you can substitute you will be getting z44 equal to j.61. So, substituting here you will get the 4 cross 4 matrix. So, z bus equal to the 4 cross 4 matrix. So, this is the z bus matrix at step 5. Now, by seeing this uh, z bus matrix we observe that it is a 4 cross 4 matrix. So, what we need to do? So, as you know in this problem there are 3 buses the final answer must be of 3 cross 3 matrix. So, what we need to do? Again, we are going to apply the node elimination technique to eliminate the 4th row and 4th column and to get the final z bus matrix in the order 3 cross 3. So, the element z j k of the new impedance matrix is given by this formula. Now, we are going to apply this formula to find out the 9 parameters. So, z 1 1 equal to j equal to 1 k equal to 1 substituting the values from the matrix you will be getting j.697 similarly z12 j.658 z13 j.629 and that, that is equal to z31 and z22 is equal to j.754 and z23 equal to j.678 and the final value z33 equal to j.714 so, now substituting in the matrix format, so you will be getting this 9 parameters as the final answer. This is a final Z bus matrix by considering all the reactances in the given diagram. This is how you need to solve this problem to calculate bus impedance matrix using bus building algorithm method.